Hey there. Long time. No, no rip. I know. Anyway, I went to the National last weekend, and I wanted to buy some, like, kind of old wax, and I succeeded. Unfortunately, it was probably the worst box I've ripped in a while. This would have been an awesome box had I ripped it, had I bought this when it came out, but you'll see just how bad this box is, especially in light of current events. Uh, I paid $55 and I got this box of 2003 Donruss Elite and uh, yes this this is an omen for how bad this box is. Now I've already ripped it and if you've never seen Donruss Elite it's a uh, it's a 200 card set it's foil board this is what the cards look like it's uh, 180 of uh, these regular cards and then the last 20 cards are a gimmicked rookie subset um, and they're all numbered to 1750 uh, which is not as bad as what Donruss, the first couple of years of Donruss Elite were uh, if I recall correctly in 2001 and 2002 I think they had 50 gimmicked rookies and uh, they were limited to like a thousand so 20 of them in number to 1750 is not too bad uh, unfortunately the rookie card class has not aged well uh, the one that I got was uh, Jimmy Gobble let me take it out of the slicky so you can see it uh, number to 1750 the other 19 rookies in the set, um, like I said, th this hasn't aged well. The best rookie card you can get is Shane Victorino, which, uh, yeah. Uh, I know there was a, uh, a Hideki Matsui rookie in it, but who collects that guy anymore? Uh, and the other guys, uh, like I said, you're not buying this for rookies. Anyway. Uh, as far as inserts go, you get three inserts in a box, and two of them are from this all-time career best sub subset. Uh, I got a Dale Murphy. I don't know if you can see that because of the glare. And a Roger Clemens. And, I, and you get one serial numbered insert. And the one that I got was of... Uh, Vladimir Guerrero and this is a career best and it's serial number to 417 and it's meant to celebrate his 417 on base percentage uh, and speaking of Vladimir Guerrero my one parallel in a box was this die cut serial number to 24 it's actually one of 24 so it's a uh, it's an eBay one of one mojo okay that's the good part now the part that really really sucks you get two hits in a box and uh, like I said if I were to have ripped this box ten years ago and gotten these two as my big mojo hits I would have been happy and you would have been happy. I'm not. My first one is, I'll show you that one later. It's this one. It is an Alex Rodriguez jersey card. Numbered to 500. Yeah, a fraud. My other big mojo hit is wait for it another a fraud jersey card number to 250 this is actually a the, the name of this insert says it's called throwback threads and the theme is older jerseys and this one's actually a Mariners jersey from the time we think we know he was not on drugs 
And uh, what's cool about this card, if there's anything cool about getting a game jersey card of a roid head, is that, I don't know if you remember Don Russ doing this, but on the back, I kind of wish they would go back to doing this. Let me take it out of the slicky for a sec. They actually put a photo of the jersey they cut up to put on the front of the card. Now, why the hell don't they do that anymore? I don't know. You'll have to ask uh, the current Monopoly licensee. Anyway, that was 55 bucks. That was uh, 2003 Donruss Elite. It's one of those products that uh, I never really got around to collecting when it first came out because there was so much, so many products back then. This one kind of slipped through the cracks for me, but uh, all in all, not a bad set, I think. I, I I don't know about I know I know a lot of you don't like foil board cards, and I really I I kind of like I just don't like the holographic foil board that they put on the rookies. So anyway. That's one box I got in the National, and I got another box that uh, I'm going to save for later. All right? Later.